The Tennessee Women's Theater Project brings the best-selling memoir, Warriors Don't Cry, to the stage as it opens its 2009-2010 season. Join me as we learn more about this historical one-woman play on this week's Arts Break. Next time she went to town, she bought me a pink diary that I could lock with a little key. Warriors Don't Cry is a word-for-word -word adaptation of Melba Patillo Beale's memoir of the same name. One of the first nine African-American students to integrate Little Rock's high schools. I prefer to work outside in the fresh air where I am free. The whole idea of segregation is brought out and brought to life in a way that again, you know, I think for many of us, we don't have a frame of reference for in, in this day and age. You know, it's only been 50 years. I know I can't talk back to adults, so I keep my mouth shut, even though I want to tell her a thing or two. It's a wonderful opportunity to help young people understand how it is that they came to be able to do the things that they do. And this is a story that shouldn't be forgotten. It amazes me the physical and the mental torment that these kids went through. What makes this wonderfully different is that the actor who plays Melba isn't simply Melba throughout. She is her grandmother. She is the cop who chases her out of the all-white bathroom when she's eight years old. She has to become and help the audience understand that she is this other character. What you want to be is free. I tried to think of people in my own family to draw from. The grandmother character is about three elderly ladies that I know <laughs> kind of meshed into one. It was a challenge because not only am I playing women but men. So I tried to watch men. I just, that sounds weird. But I, that's what I tried to do. Trying to integrate Little Rock's bathrooms? You must be part of a communist group from up north. The title Warriors Don't Cry came from something that Melba's grandmother told her. She was a warrior for God and warriors don't cry. And so every day Melba would remind herself that warriors don't cry to keep strong and to protect herself from everything around her. Well, I don't know why you want to go to that school where you're not wanted. It's different for us because it helps us bring full circle what we are and where we are. Here we sit in the Luby Theater, named for the man who helped work for Nashville's integration on Rosa Parks Boulevard. And it's just a, it's a joy for me to be able to bring this particular show to this particular theater. Performances of Warriors Don't Cry run through September 27th at the Luby Theater with a single performance on September 22nd at Scarab Bennett. For more information, visit us online at wnpt.net slash arts. This NPT Arts Break is made possible by the generous support of the Ingram Charitable Fund and the Metropolitan Nashville Arts Commission.